Many businesses these days have a code of conduct and they really want to be compliant. And then what happens is they may get a rate. And what is unfortunately in a number of cases when the BB is doing a down rate, it gets into the press. Hey, we have had it with the Optima case. We've had this with the, the Royal Belgian Football uh, Association, um, which of course then creates the impression that they are already guilty, eh, where there is perhaps something to be done first it, that it doesn't get into the press. Um, and then bring, you have always two reactions. Are they too quickly assumed to be acting fraudulently? That's one. Second question is, apart from that, so you need to go after non-compliant businesses and you have a compliant group. And that's what you see in other countries, for instance, in, in the Netherlands, where you say, they're saying, okay, we try to promote voluntary compliance and we do horizontal monitoring. It's this relationship between the government and the business. Next to that, we're very harsh indeed when somebody is not compliant and there the, the fiat, like special investigation unit, comes in with the rates. So it's more a question on how can we balance yes. Mm -hmm. I understand uh, the question. I think the, maybe we've had in the past too much of a kind of antagonistic attitude, us against them. We are the fraud fighters and all the others are fraudsters. It's an exaggeration, but basically that was the kind of attitude that was quite prevalent. Uh, I think we need to change uh, attitudes. Um, of course, not everybody is in good faith, but maybe there are more people in good faith than we assumed until now. Mm -hmm. uh, so w the word I'm rather fond of is taxification. We need to get to, uh, I think, a new mode, a new way in which tax authorities deal with the taxpayer. And uh, the Dutch example you cited is, I think, a very good example. There should be multiple contexts where, in all openness, certain issues, certain problems, certain historical situations that have grown over years and where there is not really a question of guilt, but something is wrong, you should look at it, let's do it in an open, constructive way in order to get solutions so that we can have and continue the kind of open relationship that needs to be built. And... Uh, with respect to that, I think there's a lot of work to be done because obviously, uh, for example, for the people in the field of the tax, uh, the tax men in the field and tax women in the field, it's, it's a delicate balance. It, it, it's delicate, it's really difficult, I'm fully aware of that, but I try to get to a different kind of attitude and hoping people, without uh, becoming naive uh, in, those, in those discussions, that there is maybe more good faith on the other side of the table than we traditionally assumed, uh, which does not mean, I repeat, that you have to be naive or that you have to accept all kinds of arguments on, on an a priori basis, but maybe a little bit more mutual understanding and mutual cooperation in order to get to constructive solutions for things that have gone wrong in the past. Best, It's quite possible try to get to solutions before you immediately start uh, all kinds of uh, situations which makes life rather nasty sometimes. Yeah, Homerum, just to add, and it's just a personal comment, if you look at the VAT gap in the Netherlands, it's the lowest of all of the member states in the Union, it's 5%. They've been running the horizontal monitoring for years. And although it's voluntary, it puts pressure on good behavior. And I, it's just a side I think a it's side uh, quite correct if, if you had, would more have that kind of attitude where the tax men, and again tax men, tax women, do not immediately assume there is bad will and bad faith at the other side of the table, and vice versa, the taxpayer has some more faith in what he can obtain through a constructive discussion with the taxman, that would really be very helpful in terms of the overall results, uh, like, they are, like they are, for example, clearly visible in, uh, in the Netherlands.